As a leader in the FBI, Andrew Arena has dedicated his life to fighting public corruption and terrorism. He could have gone anywhere after his kind of career with the feds, but Arena has decided to stay right here in Detroit so he can take on crime in a whole new way. It's a bittersweet goodbye to the FBI for Detroit special agent in charge, Andrew Arena. I thought it was going to be easy. I don't know who I was fooling. Um, I walked in to tell my staff today and, you know, the words kind of wouldn't come out initially. So um, it's, it's difficult. This is a very difficult time for me. But I'm excited about the future. During his five years in charge in Detroit, Arena has spearheaded complicated investigations that changed the political climate here. The FBI's public corruption probes have landed the Fed some high-profile guilty pleas, such as Monica Conyers and the indictment of former Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick, among others. I'm proud of the hard work that the investigators have, have put in. And, you know, I caution people. They say, you know, you're leaving. Why are you leaving now? Things aren't done. The investigators doing the cases, they're not going anywhere. Uh, they're still down there slugging it out. Arena was born in Dearborn and had offers to promote even higher within the FBI. But he wanted to keep his wife and young daughters in his hometown. But this is a job in which you have to put your job before your family because of the seriousness of what we, we've done. So I put the job before my family for 24 years. I think it's time to, to give something back to them. Family isn't the only focus keeping him in Detroit. Arena still wants to shape the future of the Motor City. The 24-year FBI veteran is taking over as executive director of the Detroit Crime Commission, a nonprofit made up of former FBI, Michigan State Police, and Detroit Police law enforcement experts. I think there's three things that, that we need to do for this city um, that, that's really going to help. Number one is the corruption issue. Number two is violent crime, getting the violent crime down. And number three is a viable school district that will get people back to the city. Former FBI Supervisor Ron Reddy is the deputy director of the Crime Commission and can't wait for Arena to join their mission of improving the quality of life in Southeast Michigan by pursuing criminals in new ways. Everybody in my organization wants to make a difference uh, for the people here in Detroit to make it a safer place for, uh, uh, for people to live, uh, to help our economy grow by attracting business uh, without the fear of them being uh, victims of, cr of crime. Former MSP Inspector Ellis Stafford says the Crime Commission can fill the gaps in areas where traditional law enforcement doesn't have the resources to focus on crimes like mortgage and insurance fraud and other corruption. I think we can fill uh, the gap, uh, that communication gap between what the public uh, wants and what law enforcement has a capability to do. Once Arena moves into his new office in early July, the nonprofit will look to shine a light on all kinds of corruption. I think it can be a continuation to a certain extent of what we've done here. I think they, the mission of the Crime Commission is righteous. I think that uh, the people that are over there are some of the best investigators. They're very well known in law enforcement circles. I'm going to have the opportunity to build it. Arena's FBI retirement officially starts on May 31st. For more information about the Detroit Crime Commission, please head to our website, wxyz.com.